Welcome to TechLag video tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain about uh, uh, differences between uh, SQL functions that is NVL and NVL2. So when we have a requirement if you have null values in your column if you are writing uh, fetching data null values. So if you don't want to uh, pass null values if, instead of null values if you want to pass some actual values. So that is uh, functions called we can convert null values to actual values using NVL or NVL2. So when you look at NVL, uh, NVL syntax will be two parameters will be passing argument 1 and argument 2 that parameter 1 and parameter 2. So here the uh, how it will works means NVL if, if argument 1 is null it will be returned argument 2. If argument 1 is not null you will be getting only argument 1. If you look at here argument 1 is not null okay then you will be getting argument 1. If it is null, if it is null, so you will be getting argument 2. So, if you look at here, if argument 1 is null, you will be returning this argument 2. So, NVL function will converting null values to actual values. That actual values argument 2 you can pass, you can pass own values or you can uh, pass from any table column values. Okay, any table column values. So, this is the NVL function, only two parameters. And those two parameters data type should be same. Those two parameters data type should be same here. Okay. If you look at here, another example, NVL, a first parameter is not null, second parameter is null. So obviously NVL always will work from first for left to right. If first parameter is not null, it will return only not null. It will be ignored second parameter obviously. Okay. Then. What that is about NVL2? NVL2 will have a three parameters. You can see here. This is the T arguments. If first argument is null, it will return as your third argument. You can see here. This is your third argument. If first, if first argument is null, you will be written. It will return third argument. If it is not null, if it is not null, it will return second argument. You can see here. My first parameter is not null. So that's the reason it is returning second parameter. That is second argument. So differences here. NVL will have only two arguments. That is the two parameters. NVL3 will have a three parameters. Only difference. NVL2, the whatever you have a first parameter is not returning any value only for validation. So, you will be passing whatever you have a data. The data is null. It will uh, go to third parameter and it will return third parameter value. If it is not null, it will return second parameter. So, that is the only difference NVL and NVL2. And uh, if you look at here, if you look at here, I have an example. This is the basic example I am showing here. This is my original column here, commission. Commission sum of the data is null. If it is null, commission is null, I am returning value is 0. Okay. So both data types is same actually. Because commission also integer and I am giving a 0 is integer. If we passing any text here, what will happen? It will throw error. So if you are passing any test here it will show that invalid number because it is a text okay if you pass any numbers or integers it won't throw any error this is the reason when you are passing your nvl or nvl2 the data type should be same because you should not pass text to number okay or date to whatever you have a date if you are going for date or number if you are going for text okay check that only if it is a number it will verify that number and both are numbers it will accept this then how will pass your nvl function with the, some text for example if there is no commission in this column i want to display i want to display text message called no commission i want to display text message called no commission so here we have to convert our main here you can see I am converting this commission into 
two care wherever there is no commission it will be displaying no commission here now you can see text also i am displaying so those data types will be converting here inside nvl function inside nvl function so this is the way we can go for passing text if you have a requirement to display some messages if there is no commission i want to display commission okay so like this we can go for like this we can go for using nvl function same example if you look at nvl2 if you look at here if there is no commission i want display salary if there is a commission i want to display commission here look at here if there is no commission i am displaying salary here this is my salary i am displaying salary if if it is a commission is available i am displaying commission like this okay if there is no commission inside this i want a salary if commission is available i am displaying this commission like this you can see it is not displaying salary here only there is no commission it is displaying salary like this you can see okay so this is the way we can go for nvl2 function this is the way we can go for nvl2 function nvl2 function same thing if you are going for uh, addition like salary plus commission okay salary commission okay if you look at here what is happening salary is available if you look at here salary is available but my salary plus commission it is showing null why because when you are doing for calculations with a null everything will be output will be null okay whatever you are doing with a null calculations the output will be null so that time we can go for nvl here if it is null i want pass zero here because i want salary plus commission sum of salary now you can see here salary is available and commission there is no commission but i am getting here i am getting here but earlier without nvl we are not getting that why because when you are doing calculation with n without nvl like if you have a null cal, null values it will give output as null here okay so this is the way we can go for nvl function convert null values to actual values same thing nvl2 also but here we have a third parameter here okay if first parameter is null it will be getting a third parameter if first parameter is not null it will be getting second parameter so only this is the major differences you can find in nvl and nvl2 thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more updates or videos in my channel thank you